Hey, everybody. Hope these words have been encouraging for you in this month of January. It's the beginning of 2023, an amazing year that's coming. Don't worry about what the, the media is saying and what the, the devil is trying to do with 2023. God has a plan and he's with us. I want to read something to you, James 4, 7. Here's what it says. It says, so humble yourselves before God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. That's really a, a good place to say, you know what? Not only do we need to resist the devil, but part of our resisting the devil means not putting ourselves in situations that are going to be tempting for us, right? Uh, part of that resisting is setting your face like a flint, right, upon the things of God and saying, okay, I'm not going to do these things. I'm not going to put myself in a position where this temptation is going to going to come at me. Let me give you an example. For instance, don't put yourself in a situation on social media where you're seeking after things and typing things in or talking to people or searching, you know, out people on social media. You shouldn't be searching X's and different things. I mean, you name it. You know, there's all kinds of things that we should not be doing. Don't seek out confrontational people on Facebook or Instagram who always put out these posts that are just inviting all of this inflammatory confrontation. These are putting ourselves in places on purpose where the where the devil's just there, man. He's just there waiting, right, to just pounce on this. Oh, I can't wait to pounce on that statement, that attitude, that thing you just looked at. I can't wait to jump all over that. So don't put yourself in that situation. Um, resist the devil. The thoughts come into our mind. Go do this. You know, just don't do it. The power's right here. The Holy Spirit is living in us. He said, I'm going to endue you with power. The power is right here. We can just say, no, I'm not going to do it. So resist the devil this week. Don't listen to him. When the thought comes in, it's not you. It's the enemy. He puts the thought in and then he blames you to your face. Hey, do this. Oh, I can't believe you thought that. It's his thought in the first place. So just resist it by giving it no credibility by taking no action upon it. You just resist the devil and he'll flee from you. Eventually, he's going to stop bringing those thoughts to you because he can't get anywhere with them. So I want to pray that you're strong, that you're absolutely courageous in this time and season. Don't give the enemy time, but give God time to move in your life. We'll talk to you soon. We love you. See you soon.